Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today we're going to do a complete different tutorial type. Okay. Reason for that is that I've been making 3D modeling and animation tutorials for a while now and uh, in my subscriber base I'm getting a lot of questions. You know, how can I get into the profession? How can I make my money with uh, 3D modeling? You know, what is uh, my job path and so forth. Okay. So what I want to do today in this tutorial is explain a couple of ways how you can uh, make some money with all your efforts. All right. Now, to start off with, um, a lot of people will say, OK, I want to work at Pixar. Well, for 99.99% of 3D modelers out there, you can probably forget that. There's a quite a, there's quite a lot of talent out there, and there are very, very few people that you know actually make that. But don't be discouraged. There are a lot of opportunities out there in a lot of different ways. Okay, so what are a couple of things you can do? Now to start off with, you can um, sell your 3D models. Okay, so I got one example here, which is a 3D Squirrel, and this is a 3D model workplace. So what you basically do is you create a 3D model in Maya, in ZBrush, in Blender, in whatever you use. Okay, and you sell them. You, you uh, upload them on these websites, <clears throat> you set a certain price for them, and they sell them for you. And when they do, you get a royalty percentage. Now, that can be a pretty decent percentage. I believe that 3D Squirrel goes something like up to 90% of the selling price. Okay, So they get 10%, you get 90 Now, if you look at these example images here, that's pretty daunting. You know, That looks like a very, very high quality. Now, obviously, your work needs to be up to par, otherwise it's going to be difficult. But still, there are a lot of opportunities here. There are people that are modeling sugar cubes, uh, spoons, uh, tables, plastic cups. So just to check out these websites and you'll get a sense of you know what they're accepting. Just make sure your work is clean and you follow the model checklist okay? that will tell you what you need to take uh, into account. Now, this is one example, 3D Squirrel. There are a few uh, more out there. Um, probably the most famous one is uh, Turbo Squid. You got the 3D Studio. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a 3D Squirrel, and you also got Shapeways and Daz 3D. So just check that out. All right. Okay. So what's the next option? Next option would be, uh, you know, selling uh, company logos. There are a lot of small companies out there, you know, and uh, they got, you know, a couple of employees. They got a website and they want to have, um, you know, a, a commercial agency. They're going to pay a lot of money for that. Now, I actually created uh, some 3D models for, uh, you know, baseball uh, clubs, for uh, little stores and so forth. We're not talking about big money here, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a side income that is uh, cool. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So, how do you uh, get people to know that you are doing that? Well, you can, you know, put something on Craigslist, right? You can, uh, you know, put up a little note in the local store and so forth, and you'd be surprised that how how quick that will pick up. Um, on average, you know, it's not crazy if you're just doing a simple logo you're talking about maybe 50 bucks 75 bucks depending on you know what it is uh, so that's another opportunity now one thing that's cool as well is to create 3d wallpapers all right uh, there are quite a few out there and um, if your work is you know any way decent there's probably a good opportunity for you to sell them um, pretty much same deal <clears throat> what you do is you create a 3D logo, you render it out, make sure that your render is high quality and, you know, a decent image, especially if it's very creative. You know, if you model, I don't know, a rhino with a giraffe head or something on it, you know, that kind of weird stuff, uh, that is really popular and you would probably be able to sell it. One of the places where you can do that is at uh, depositphotos.com and um, check them out. They got a lot of stuff going on there. <clears throat> okay, so what else? Uh, what you can do is uh, do private tutoring. Now there are literally thousands of people out there that are 
modeling in 3D and are not doing that professionally or not yet anyway, okay? They are not uh, in a uh, formal uh, student situation. They're not, you know, in college. They're maybe, you know, modeling uh, next to their day job, so to speak, right? Um, so they are in need of tutoring. <clears throat> now, there are a lot of uh, you know, tutorials out there, but sometimes people are uh, in need of moving forward fast, and they would like to get some private tutoring. So again, you can use Craigslist to, uh, you know, to advertise that or any uh, website that is similar to Craigslist in the country that you live. And, uh, you know, just uh, tutor people one or two hours a week. It always helps. Now, the same thing you can do with groups. If you are any good at what you are doing, <clears throat> you can advertise and let's say you do a class on Saturdays. Uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight people, and you go through the basics of 3D modeling, you show them how to get started, and so forth. And uh, I did that in the past, and uh, that works quite well. Okay? So what else? Uh, well, obviously, I got a tutorial channel. I'm creating, uh, um, you know, Maya tutorials, and I've been doing that on YouTube for a while. And that's what you can do. And so how do you make money off a tutorial channel? <clears throat> well, first of all, you really don't make a lot of money, right? It's just, uh, it's a very, very minimal, uh, but that's all right. It's a good uh, exercise. It's good to uh, kind of, uh, you know, establish certain points in your development. And it's really fun because you got a lot of inter interaction with other people. Now, the main way to get uh, opportunities out of that is that if people see your work, uh, you'll be out there, and they will come to you with offers. So what kind of offers? For example, I had uh, several requests to um, model for games, and they would typically want certain props that they needed for a game. Uh, they would be short of one or more modelers for that game, and they would say, you know, I need you to model a trash can or a bar setting or, you know, any other prop, uh, rocks, um, uh, trucks, whatnot, okay? Um, one thing you need to pay attention, though, is um, when you get requests like that, more often than not, there is uh, no or very limited budget, okay? The people creating these games are in a similar situation that you're in. And, you know, they're, they're working from home trying to get something started. The real big companies that are manufacturing games that are bringing in millions of dollars, right, they usually have uh, the budget to, uh, to set up a team, okay? But still, it's a good opportunity because sometimes these games take off and you can get a slice of the cake, so to speak. So what else? Commercials and infomercials. And again, we're not talking national network here. We're talking, uh, you know, either internet commercials or infomercials uh, or for small companies, okay? They'll need certain elements to, uh, you know, for, for their uh, commercial. And this could be, uh, you know, a logo, a prop, whatnot, a uh, character. And um, that is a lot of fun to do. It's a really great way to build your network, and uh, you can make some money off that as well. The next one uh, I would uh, mark as really important. Now, during my day job, I'm uh, I'm in uh, you know, a, a corporate business uh, scenario, so to speak, and what I see every day is um, PowerPoint slides, okay, and they're presentations on all sorts of stuff. Now, what is a very big trend nowadays is that instead of these flat 2D uh, graphs and, and you know, um, characters or attributes that they're using in the PowerPoint, they're using 3D now. So what do I mean? Uh, a 3D graph, a 3D pyramid, a, uh, you know, a, a forklift truck, a, a flow chart, all in 3D, okay? Um, there's a big market out there for that. So that is something that you could do. All right, so next one, number nine. Um, creating 3D buildings, okay? 
I'm not talking about highly detailed, uh, intricate uh, models. I'm talking about pretty much box shapes uh, that uh, are similar to a certain uh, city layout or village layout and so forth. And sometimes even for people that say, okay, I want to have the outline of my house in 3D, so I got a good idea of you know how to model my garden, or where I need to remodel and so forth. So we're talking about a very simple, basic layout, okay? Uh, even people that are starting out in 3D modeling can do that. So how can you get people to approach you to do that? Again, Craigslist and so forth, right? Now, the last one is pretty interesting. Um, let's say you have a blog or a website and you are posting uh, your work on that website, okay? So, uh, excuse me, one sec. Sorry about that guy, he's got a bit of a cough going on. Okay, so let's say you've got a blog or a website, you're posting your work on that, all right? And what you can do is you can join an affiliate program. Now, what do I mean by that? There are several um, uh, companies out there online that uh, sell um, classes. So, modeling tutorials, uh, you know, Adobe After Effects, uh, ZBrush, Blender, Maya, whatnot. And people can subscribe to these sites, they pay a monthly fee, and they get training, right? Online training. Now, if you have a website or a blog that is related to the subject of 3D art, so to speak, and you uh, get uh, enough visitors on that website or blog, you can ask to join the affiliate program. Um, just type in affiliate program, for example, Digital Tutors or lynda.com, uh, apply for a membership, and how that works is if people go from your website to their website and they sign up, then you get a percentage. Uh, just a few tips on how to make money uh, with your 3D, 3D modeling and your art. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.